women in the film industry. Uh, you, um, you're a powerhouse. Uh, we have seen your work in a number of festivals. Can you t uh, go ahead and share how many festivals you have had the Pepper Project in? Um, you know, I don't know. I'd have to, <laughs> I'd have to count. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, so if you're <laughs> kind. Um, so we, we, we'd had a good run with our first one with the pilot or the three-episode cut, and now we're just starting out on the circuit with Ricochet, and um, this is the first one, yay, of 2021. So we're really happy that uh, DC is, is where we're launching this for this year. So, yay. yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm so glad you're able to hear. Um, I know it was a, a being located in New York, which at one point was the epicenter of this virus in the U.S. Um, was incredibly stressful for you. I know that you guys, uh, I even think you had to hold up on some of the festivals. And, and Mama, so good to see you. I know that you were stressed out about seeing your Italian Mama. <laughs> yes. So I'm glad she's here. She's there, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, you're, I love your, can you uh, talk about, and, and I know this is, been a while but I, I want you to share the idea of your show because what is fantastic about your character is she's not this 20 something um she's still this gorgeous hot oh. seductress too um, kind too kind and very dimensional so i'd love for you to talk about your the idea the concept and how you executed it Sure, and, and I, I don't want to be repetitive because Otessa gave me a lot of time last night too, so I don't want to bore anyone. Um, but, um, you know, just, you know, in brief, um, you know, and people have heard me mention this before, is that I, I just, I developed this, you know, when, you, when you're not getting cast or you're not able to be in work that you want to be in or you're, there's a hole in the industry with your career and you have passion and you want to really exercise your creativity and, and artistic sense with your friends and collaborate, you can write something for yourself, you know, and Otessa brought that up last night, you know, it's like, you know, don't wait, create kind of thing, that, that, that adage that we have on the circuit. And, um, you know, uh, Pepper is a character of an age, like we've said, and uh, I wanted it to be, I wanted her to be messy and, uh, but strong and vulnerable, yet um, um, able to overcome things and um, relatable to people, because I think that the multidimensional women are something that we sometimes see, but we also don't. Uh, in, in greater perspective, we don't see that. We usually see, you know, categories of women, and they're either this type of person or this type of person, and the well, the well mixed person with with some trouble and with a bit of messiness, I think, is interesting because I think we're all vulnerable and we all can relate to that kind of um, person. Uh, you know, none of us is perfect, and so I wanted to, I wanted to create something like that. You know. Um, you know, Amy, I wanted Amy to chime in just a, a real quick second about about the, um, if, if you don't mind, Amy just, you know, we were talking about Oh, women please, and, absolutely. You know, Hello, you know. You know. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. Um, it's, it's very easy to see after hearing Kara speak how it didn't take much talking into to get, you know, me on board. Um, no. She's an amazing, amazing, talented individual. No, project, I project. Think, yeah, what, rep what she represents to me is that mature category that um, so many performers don't get don't get to see after a certain age. Um, and I think it speaks to me on so many personal levels that we need more roles. We need more strong roles. You can be over 40 and play an action hero, <laughs> a sexy spy. I, I feel like this age group of women gets lost. And so I was very honored to, to work with Karis on this and so happy for her. So. Amy, you're absolutely right. Um, especially I've seen with the pandemic, so many of the actors uh, out of work and we are starting to see a slow progression of things coming up. But imagine to be out of work so long and you're, you're looking at Actors Access, you're looking at casting networks, you're calling your agent, and it's all teens or 20s. <laughs> then you have your occasional grandma and you have a whole range of women that are left behind. So I hope this ins inspires not only the filmmakers that are here that have watched the project, but in creating their character future projects to opening up because men seem to be able to play action heroes. Uh, well, if you take a look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> 60, 70. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> so I I thank you and bless you, ladies, for creating opportunities and showing women of various ages that are still vivacious and and full of passion and still look hot um, and perform amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and Amy, first of all, thank you again. And again, mom, thanks everyone for being here. Amy, Belinda, Marilyn, and, and my mom. And, and Desi, thanks for bringing all that out. And, um, and Amy, for what you said. It's just trying to create opportunities for yourself, as Otessa said yesterday. When, when you're not finding them in the industry and you are a creator and you do have passion, you know, try to make it happen. And, and I've just been blessed that we've been able to do that. So, and on the circuit, been able to meet so many people that are doing that. Everyone's work is incredible. So thank you for all this opportunity. Well, thank you for being here tonight, you guys, and thank you for your humility. Um, and uh, it's always a pleasure. And so it is a pleasure to talk to you, lady. Likewise, Desi. Thank you. And I'm going to introduce two things. So if there are any um, information about where we can find more of your work or interact with you, if you would like to share that, I would love to see you drop it in the chat so that we can continue to enjoy your work and interact with you after this weekend is over. And in addition, this is very exciting for me. Um, this is our ninth year of the festival. And it's interesting to see how our award categories have grown over time and grown due to the demand of how, just how excellent the work is. And for this, our ninth year, and I've always joked that internet years are like dog years, so this is basically our centennial. We've basically been around for 100 years. It's what it feels like. Uh, but for your work in particular, we have a new award that we have started doing, and I want to recognize you and your team for creating and continuing to create over time and not just creating where there is where there is a need and a lack, you have filled that, not just for yourself, but for many others. And that is, we need more of that. And thank you for doing that. So you are our very first Legacy Creator Award. So thank you for all of your contributions to the industry and for being the first recipient of this award. Because truly, you are paying it forward. And I think of the Kennedy Moon speech, which I'm going to do a horrible impersonation of his ridiculous accent. But we go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is hard. And I think that's a little bit wrong. <laughs> we don't do these things because it's easy. And we do them despite the fact that, we're, that they're hard. But we do them because it's important. That's the real heart of it, is we do it because it's important. And thank you for doing the important work. I'm, thank you so much. I'm really, I'm blown away. And, and I, um, I, I just, I just want to say thank you to everyone, and I, I really, um, Diana and Otessa, your whole team, again, thank you to my team, Amy, that's here, Belinda, Mary Lynn, and my mom, and probably my sister floating around somewhere in the background navigating my mom's controls here. Um, it's really such a great honor to get this award and to receive it, as I have said many times, from a creator like you, Otessa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Go girl power. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so happy for yeah. you. So happy for you. And I'm so glad that your team was able to be here yeah. to, to share in your accomplishments. Me too. Well, in their accomplishment too, like I've said, I can't, I don't do it alone. I can't do it alone. And we have, I will add this one thing real quick is that both the Pepper Project, the pilot or three episode cut and Ricochet Confidential has such a strong, strong contribution from women. We, I mean, women in, in key uh, creative decisions and uh, decision making positions and, you know, leadership positions. And Mary Lynn, um, the production manager, you know, Amy and Belinda, producers. Um, I mean, I can go on. Lenore uh, head of costumes, my first ADs, all both for both projects, all women, um, uh, production coordinators, women. So um, really trying to move ahead and, and fill those positions with women, um, and along with, of course, our really strong male counterparts for, for a great collaboration. But, um, you know, focusing on how many of us can we and can we bring together to move forward. Thank you again. Thank you again. Now I want to visit your set when it's safe to be so. <laughs> I, I want to see your set where... We have that many women. <laughs> oh, we've got we've got pictures. We've got <laughs> I'll vicariously through 
through until the pandemic is, is here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much again, Atessa and Diana. Thank you. You know how much I love you. Thanks. Thanks. Yay, Pepper Team. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I can imagine on a on a team where there's so many women, you're going to have things that you usually don't see on a set that guys have, you know. <laughs> it's going to be.